Mick, you're aggressive on the stage to Beaver Creek, and then today the first man to attack. Team Saxo Bank Tinkoff was uh, three guys in the break. You guys definitely had a different plan going for today. Yeah, certainly. You know, it's the last stage for kind of us really tomorrow is a, a sprinter stage, and uh, we gave it everything. So, fortunately, yeah. didn't quite make it. You know, it was it was pretty tough out there. A lot of headwind, and it was, it was tough with only uh, you know a limited amount of riders in the break compared to the uh, you know the big pack that just you know kind of bear down and you don't know. They were bearing down. It was extremely fast in the back. Can you tell me, was the break uh, working pretty well together? And then uh, that separation at the end, how did that seem to form? Yeah, I mean, it worked pretty well together. I mean, I'd, I had two teammates, so I you know, had the luxury to sit back a little bit because I knew the, the uh, short little steep climbs in the final. And, um, and uh, I attacked, I think, on, uh, I think it was the third last. And, you know, we dragged away the final four. But unfortunately, we didn't quite have enough buffer to, to make it to the final. In the, when you guys were in the break and uh, you realized there wasn't a Cannondale rider there, did you think that did you think that might have been the end? Or did you still think you guys could have had a chance? Yeah, well, we hovered around two minutes the whole day, really. Um, you know, and it seemed no matter how fast we rode, it always, you know, stayed two minutes. I think BMC were willing to leave us, you know, two minutes time gap. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, you know, and. Um, like I said, you know, there was a lot of headwind out there, especially the last 50 kilometres, and it was, it was tough. Unfortunately, we didn't make it. So. Exciting finish. Nice ride. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.